All right, guys, here we go. We've got the Crixus Dark Star, this beauty here, and we've got the Crixus Armor X. Now, I know that that was a little bit dimly lit there, but guys, we're working with a backlit system on this video a little bit here. So what do we got going here? We've got the Crixus Dark Star bait casting reel here, $59. Well, then here is the same looking reel, except one's right-handed, one's left-handed. Yes, both of them are sold in right-handed and left-handed applications, and that's available for any of the bait casters that Cast King sells. From the Dark Star, to the Armor X, to the Glacier White, to the Seafoam, to the Royal Legend, to the Royal Legend 2, to the Bassinator, to the, you know, uh, you guys kind of get the picture. Oh, by the way, excuse the old mechanic hands, guys. That's one reason why I love Cast King, because you know what? These hands right here, they build and keep America going. I have always called the Crixus Dark Star the Bassinator on a budget. Well, guys, it's been dethroned. There's a new Bassinator on a budget. Yes, it's a little bit more expensive, but it definitely falls more into the criteria of the Bassinator over its predecessor. Now, the Crixus bait casting reels, seen as the Glacier Whites, as you see here, or in the Sea Spray, and then, of course, in the Dark Star, you'll see them start in the low to high $50 range. Now, where they vary in those is things like your, your gear ratios as well as bearing count. So one thing to know when we're talking about the Sea Spray or the Glacier White, this is a 5 plus 1 ball bearing system, and you're looking at a 6, 5 to 1 gear ratio. Now, that is a gear ratio you will find whether you go in the Glacier White or in the sea spray now in the dark star as you see here or this beautiful cat right here and god i've caught so many fish on this and it is one of my favorite reels of all time oh i love it this guy right here is running a seven two to one gear ratio but it also has a seven plus one bearing count we'll talk about that a little more later in the video but what really sets these two apart was gear ratio as well as bearing count so what sets these apart from the new Crixus Dark Star Armor X? Well, they've got some similarities. They've all got the super polymer knobs, as you can see here. Beautiful, great knobs, very smooth, and they look really cool. Great in water, wet conditions, dry conditions, fantastic. They all have the cool aluminum handle, beautiful anodized looks to them, nice paint jobs. You know, they've got the same spools pretty much. Some really cool features. They open on the back and the rear of the reels, as you can see, all that looks the same. They also boast a four disc carbon fiber drag system that gives you 17.6 pounds of drag. Well, you see that in both of them. And they also both show a eight bearing, or I'm sorry, an eight button premium magnetic braking system that works very well. That is features that you will see on all four of the different entries in the Crixus bait casting lineup. Yep, I've only got three of them, guys. I will get the sea spray eventually. Just got to put it on my list. But let's get into it and break it down and see what actually separates these reels from the Glacier White, the Dark Star, to the new Armor X. Now, if you saw my previous video that I did on the Crixus lineup, you can go refresh yourself if you want to, if you've never seen it, definitely go watch it. You'll kind of get up to speed. And it really breaks down these reels here, the Dark Star, the Glacier White, as well as the Sea Spray. But we're going to jump into it and show you a couple quick features that make this guy even that much better. So another great improvement that you'll see in the Crixus Armor X over some of the other reels in the Crixus lineup is a double bearing supported pinion gear. Okay, so right here, as you can see, you have your spool being represented. Now, where your tension knob rides, as well as your spool rides, you have a bearing in the tension knob, as well as on the other side of the spool. What that's going to do is support the movement of that spool. This double bearing supported pinion gear is going to give you 35% more strength under a load and stability and over 30% more durability, as you can see here. That's gonna improve life, improve smoothness, and improve performance. That is something that you gotta love in the entry of this reel. 
All right, guys, so let's talk bearings. Well, you know, in the first installment, as we discussed uh, in the Crixus video that I previously put out, we discussed the Glacier White as well as the Seafoam or Sea Spray colored reel. And we talked about the Crixus bearing count. Let's break it down real quick and then we'll get into the new Armor X version. Sorry for the boat rash. These reels are used quite a bit and oh boy, do we love them. Anyhow, so the Glacier White as well as the Seafoam or Sea Spray, it's rocking a five plus one Maxi Dirt shielded stainless steel ball bearing. That's a pretty smooth and good engineered design. Works very well, casts amazingly. Well, in the upgraded version of the Crixus Dark Star, we saw a seven plus one Maxi Dirt shielded stainless steel ball bearing count in this phenomenal reel. Now, this reel casted great. This one casts amazing. Well, in the new and improved Crixus reel, that being the Armor X, it is a nine plus one Maxi Dirt shielded stainless steel ball bearing. That will greatly improve an already phenomenally casting reel. A lot smoother casts, a lot more buttery retrieves. Guys, this is awesome. And that nine plus one ball bearing stainless steel shielded system, it's a winner in the new Armor X. Okay, so there's a lot of things that go into the new Armor X that make it phenomenal. But some of the things that really stand out are, of course, bearing count and it's lightweight but yet strong design. This is an aircraft grade aluminum components being used in this on an aluminum frame. Now where the previous Crixus in the Dark Star as well as the Glacier White Sea Foam Sea Spray, they do not utilize an aluminum frame. This aluminum frame is stronger, lighter, and has zero flex. That's pretty awesome. Now where these two came in at 7.2 ounces, the new and improved Crixus Armor X, this cat right here, has that zero flex, supremely strong chassis or aluminum frame, and it's only coming in at 6.8 ounces. That is incredible. So incredibly lightweight system being utilized in this Armor X design. As we can see from the illustration, this is the frame or the chassis that I'm discussing. Side plates don't quite count in that world. Now, other things that are being featured in this is a hard anodized aluminum drive shaft. You have an aluminum ratchet wheel, the aluminum frame like I discussed, and the hard anodized aluminum main gear. These make for stronger, improved components, like we'd mentioned, while making for a lighter weight in this design. And as we've seen in the previous video featuring the Crixus Baitcasters, we've seen that they utilize a low friction tapered vortex line guide. Now, if you didn't see the previous video, basically what that means is like you see here, this is your other type of reels or other brands. See how you have more of a straight tubular style line guide here? This one has more of a funnel design. That makes a big difference realistically if you think about it. If you were to just take a square box, a square box, and then just have a tube in it and pour a bunch of marbles in there, those marbles would roll around. Some of them would get hung up and they got to go over that 90 degree corner. And it just, it really slows the flow of those marbles down. Well, if you were to take a funnel with the same size opening as the box is opening, how fast and how much more efficient do you think those marbles would flow through that funnel? Quite a bit more because you don't have those 90 degree angles or those little hang ups and things like that. So with this Vortex line guide, you're going to have fewer backlashes, less friction, and that is going to equal longer casts, more efficient casts, and better accuracy. And as we've seen in the Glacier White and the Sea Spray or Sea Foam color, we saw it in the Crixus Dark Star. There it is there. And it is, of course, would not be a Crixus if it wouldn't be utilized in the brand new entry of the Crixus models in the Armor X. Guys, that right there is a big feature to have in your reels. All right, guys, let's talk about the Cast King Low Friction Tapered Vortex Line Guides 
that are featured on the new lineups or even the previous lineups of the Crixus models. So let's jump into that real quick. If you missed the first installment or the first video explaining it, well, let me break it down to you real quick right here. Now, the Crixus Armor X, as well as the Dark Star, as well as your Glacier White and Sea Spray all have this technology. And basically what it boils down to is kind of a funnel system, or as we call it, our tapered vortex. So imagine the, the less angle you have here and the more angle you have there. What's happening is when this line is feeding off from your furthest point, it can hit that corner, more likely to hit that corner, and meet resistance. So take a square box, if you would, with a tube in it, and pour marbles in that box. That's going to hit in the bottom, roll around, and then finally maybe make its way down, or you're going to have to move it, things like that. It's going to hit the corners and just be less efficient to flow through that boxed-style funnel. Now, with a tapered vortex or a larger funnel design that is utilized in the Crixus models, you're going to be able to pour those marbles in. They're not going to meet corners or things like that, and they're going to taper straight to the opening and flow right through. That's kind of a simple way to picture it. So this one presents more resistance and more likely for friction and slowing in your line as it feeds off the spool. With the Vortex line guide, you're going to have fewer backlashes, less friction, farther casts, and more accurate casts. And these are things that are featured on, like I said, previous models in the Glacier White and Sea Spray. It was definitely seen in the fan favorite and loved Dark Star. And now utilized in the aluminum body and upgraded version in the Armor X. All right, guys, so let's talk lubrication. Now, anytime you're out there on the water and you're fishing, you'll find sometimes throughout time, your reel starts to make a little noise, gets a little gritty feeling, you know, feels like it's not casting and smooth. And this is a great indication that maybe there's nothing wrong with your reel, it just needs to be cleaned or lubricated or maybe both. Well, you can't always do that while you're out on the water or out in the field. Well, with the new Armor X, you can actually add lubrication a lot easier on the fly and maybe transition and get yourself through what could be a reel that is needing lubrication. Rather than waiting to get home to service it, you could do it while you're out on the water. So as we see in our Glacier White display that we have here, there is no lubrication service port to, to quickly add lubrication. So you would have to do like a lot of other traditional reels would require. You would have to take it apart and add lubrication where needed. Same thing in your Dark Star setup. No lubrication port. You can see that it's not there. So the upgraded version over this Crixus also does not have that. So Cas King decided, you know what? If we're gonna improve an already phenomenal, great system, this is a good reel, that's an improved reel. This is an even more improved reel. There it is right there. As you can see, just like shown in this illustration here, that is your quick application, your quick lubrication port. Unscrew that quickly, drop a couple drops of lubrication in there and put it back together, spin it through a cycle, and all of a sudden you may find that your reel is casting and operating that much more smoother. Try not to over lube, but just a couple drops will do you. And you can do this on the bank, in the kayak, on the boat. And what could feel like a reel that's not performing correctly could be a reel that's just a little dry and needs a little lube. And now you can do that a lot quicker, a lot easier than a lot of other reels in the market, including the previous versions of the Crixus models. Guys, I hope this video brings you guys up to speed and helps you make your decision on which Crixus Entry in the bait casting world is right for you. Do you want to go more budget minded and go with the Crixus in the Glacier White or the Sea Spray? Or do you want to go right in the middle, get into that seven, two to one great gear ratio and seven plus one ball bearing and nicely affordable at $59 Crixus Dark Star? Or do you want to pony up just a few more bucks and hit into about the $89 to $90 range and get the aluminum bodied, increased supports and bearings, as well as aluminum gears, as well and drives, 
in the new Armor X. Lots of cool improvements, plus nine plus one ball bearings, still utilizing the seven two to one gear ratio, the eight magnetic braking system, the quad disc or four disc carbon fiber drag producing 17.6 pounds of drag, which is found in all the different models from the Glacier White to the Sea Spray to the Dark Star and found in the new Armor X. Guys, this really truly performs like a Bassinator in a lot of ways. Now granted the Bassinator is everything we've ever said it is, and it is a more premium and a better performing reel, but it is double the money. But this reel performs very, very close, very well. It's very impressive and it's half the price. So if you're looking for a true Bassinator on a budget, well guys, this is probably really close to what you're gonna get. Check it out and take a look at some of the different features. If you missed my other video, like I've said a few times, go back and check that out. Ugh. Ugh. Need to do the dishes or palm olive or lava soap or uh, I don't know the joys of bare mint mechanic hands.